a high profile case, that the kids should actually go and attend that case to actually see the process. That's Sharon Fitz, a co-founder of RISE, speaking at a State of the Black Community Forum on Criminal Justice. The event was held recently at the Waynesboro Public Library. Chanda McGuffin is a co-founder of RISE. She explained the significance of the Criminal Justice Forum. It's important for us in RISE, um, when it comes to talking about the criminal system and the issues with um, in the civil rights advocacy, is to engage young people to prevent them from making the wrong decisions. So we want people that have experienced it to share with them and to give back as they continue to readjust and get back into the community. I once was locked up, so um, I'm a felon. Um, but right now, um, I have done a lot of things to correct that. Now the men are working to prevent others from entering the penal system. Fear will hinder you from reaching your full potential. Yes. Yes. Don't ever let someone tell you what you cannot be or cannot accomplish or cannot do. Reportedly, there is a disproportion of the number of African American inmates than any other race in the U.S. John Butler Jr. is the resident's life coordinator at a local transitional home. Try to tackle that problem all at one time, it just seems overwhelming and so many people, even in the black community, just turn their back uh, to that challenge. Harold Foley is an organizer for legal aid. Education is the key. But if you've got a sick cop, mm -hmm. education thing is nothing. Mm -hmm. And so you've got to also, as a parent, keep your child up to date about what they cannot do and what they shouldn't do when it comes to a police officer, especially the black males. Foley says there are some key factors men must recognize as they become fathers. My first child I had was, I had about, I was about 30 years old. Um, and, you know, he changed my life because I had someone that I had to be responsible for. When you have responsibility that's not you, that means you look at the world different. All the prisons I go to, the majority of people in prison are black. Shaquille Ali is a Project Give Back Board of Directors member. He is also the founder and CEO of the TRAP organization. End up getting incarcerated at the age of 27. Um, spent over 20 years in Virginia's penal system. Um, I've been to several prisons. Um, I learned about the um, criminal justice system. Ali says they work to instruct young people on various traps which could lead to prison, such as drugs, dropping out of school, and teen pregnancy. In 94, uh, I had a check kiting scheme here in Virginia. And um, I got arrested, um, I went to court, uh, they found me guilty of forgery and uttering. Um, the total amount of checks was $870.23. Uh, I was sentenced to 48 years in prison for this crime. According to Ali, there is a connection to a large number of African American men being sent to prison and voting. I just love it when I see children that parents bring their children out to listen and to hear is because we've already been to prison, right? And so they're building new prisons. Who do you think those prisons are for? Mm -hmm. Ain't for us, we've already done that time. Right. They for our children. So those prisons are for our children. So it's important that people like us that's been there, that's done that, like I say, we got t-shirts for it, now to give back to you all, right? To make sure you don't make the same mistakes we make, Right? And make sure you never have to go through what we have been through. Mm. Lakeisha Howard was one of the parents who brought her children to the event. Howard says her son was deeply involved in the forum. It was real good. I was shocked that my son was paying attention the whole time. Howard agrees with the panel's suggestions for parents. Parents need to be more involved in the school activities and activities like this where other people are trying to bring us together, but nobody's really coming in to help out with the kids. In Waynesboro, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.